Honda recently came out with the new SCL 500 Scrambler, which Scramblers have been really popular for a long time because you can ride them on the street and off-road. But why would you get a Scrambler? Why wouldn't you get a dual sport like this WR250R that I had? Or maybe why should you get a Supermoto? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you the differences between all three of them and which one is probably best for you. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, Motovlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. First off, you may be asking, what is a scrambler? Well, a scrambler was built for off-road and street use, and they're usually a vintage-style motorcycle that has been stripped down, has taller suspension, and usually spoked wheels and a high exhaust for better ground clearance. And the reason why you may want to get a scrambler over a dual sport, supermoto, or even an adventure motorcycle is because the scramblers tend to have a lower seat height. Like this new Honda SCL 500 has a seat height of 31.1 inches versus 36 plus inches for the WR250R and my YZ450FX supermoto and adventure motorcycles are usually 34 plus inches uh, seat height. So this allows shorter riders to be able to enter the dual sport world and yet they can use this bike as a lightweight adventure motorcycle and they're pretty inexpensive. This new SCL 500 only costs about 6800 bucks. The drawback with the Scramblers are they tend to be hefty like this SCL 500 weighs 418 pounds and most Scramblers weigh 400 plus pounds. So this is going to limit your off-road capabilities to just riding light dirt roads etc. As where the dual sport and supermoto you can take them off into the woods and have a good time and even ride them up staircases like I do. You often hear me hooting and hollering about how awesome a supermoto is and I used to hoot and holler about how awesome a dual sport is when I owned the WR250R. Having a good time on my WR250R. Here you go baby Brian, some twisty action. You can go up staircases. <laughs> I love that. Some stair action. <laughs> yeah, like a boss, baby. <laughs> this is crazy. But I'm going to tell you, there is a reason why I feel like Supermoto is just edge, edging to number one versus a dual sport. <laughs> this thing is sick, man. I'm just going to crank the throttle. That's it. Watch. <laughs> See that? I didn't do any clutch up, guys. That's pure torque. <laughs> Go over. But I'm going to give you Supermoto versus Dual Sport in this video and I speak from experience and I'm going to help you on making the decision if you want to go one of those two routes. Um, because a Supermoto, hey, it may not be the best for you, but I'm going to prove in this video why it probably is better for you than a true Dual Sport. You know, I owned a 2014 WR250R and man, I modded it to the maximum. <laughs> I, I did just about everything, almost everything you can do to that bike. Um, but I tell you, that bike, no matter what you do to that bike and mods you do to it, it just ain't got no, it's like a, the power is nothing like it is with this 450. And I know, uh, you know, 450 is, some of you guys may think it's kind of like too much, especially in the dual sporting world. But what's cool about this YZ450FX is a 2019, this is the newer generation. Um, this actually, you can customize the engine characteristics on this bike through your smartphone, through the smartphone app. And it has, you can put um, two maps on the switch here so that if you want to go the full balls to the wall power in 450 mode, you keep it on one map and then you have another map that completely subdues the power 
to like a 250. So you, you got like a 450 and a 250 in this YZ 450 FX, man. And this thing's got so much bottom and grunt, even with my 44 teeth rear sprocket that I put on there. And I use a stock 13 teeth uh, counter sprocket. And of course I got the 17 inch supermoto wheels here that I made tubeless, by the way. I have a DIY video on how to make them tubeless and they've been amazing. They hold air better than any motorcycle I ever has. It's been awesome, man. But I'm gonna tell you guys, the supermoto, the number one reason why a supermoto is better than a dual sport is because if you get a, a flat out here, a puncture, you can easily put a, uh, a plug kit and repair it in less than five minutes and be on the road. You can't do that with a two like the dual sport tires have, you know. Uh, that's the biggest drawback that, for me because um, that happened to me once and I'll leave you stranded because you're not going to be able to repair it, you know. Uh, but I tell you with this 450, you can bust the wheelie. Thing just whips. But it wheelies itself, man. I'm telling you, this thing's awesome. But I tell you, with the Supermoto, is that um, the tires and all can take a beating, man. Especially, I put ADV tires on here. So actually, this is a dual sport, too. But what makes a dual sport better when you go off-road is that it has a 20-inch, 21-inch front tire that goes over logs a whole lot better. <laughs> Than this does man uh and 17 inch wheels and i learned the hard way and end up getting a broken collarbone because of that so that's why you don't really see me messing around you know doing too hardcore stuff out here and uh like i said i learned the hard way with that man um but i have the adv tires on here that allows me uh that that has you know like an adventure bike it has the grip on there that uh you know you can ride off road but if you got regular supermoto tires on here you know they're not that good and and they're not a uh, puncture re they're not tear resistant like the adv tires are that's a big problem is that the adv the uh regular supermoto tire you know regular street tires um they can easily get a puncture out here off road as where these adv tires are like bullet these tires are bulletproof bro the supermoto does it all but what's cool about the 17 inch wheels is that you can fly around corners on it man you know what i'm saying um i'm getting out of here i'm end up in somebody's backyard man <laughs> hey look at that deer the 17 inch wheels you can fly around corners you don't have to worry about the grip losing traction and sliding out and end up doing a low side <laughs> so to me it's many more benefits to be in a supermoto form and also these adv tires are rated at a higher speed so you take it on the highway you don't have to worry about speed even though my bike only has a top speed of 105 and uh, i tell you i ripped this on the highway believe it or not man i rip it on the highway dude and uh this has been an amazing bike i haven't done any valve checks on this bike whatsoever I haven't done any, um, I haven't even changed the spark plug on this guy. I only changed the air filter twice. I do oil changes every eight to 12 hours and I clean and lube the chain. That's all I do on this bike, man. And it's been absolutely amazing. But, see, dual sport is awesome. This is the dual sport too, baby. So, but like I said, you got a great big log or something. You're going to have a hard time getting that front wheel up over it, man, uh, with a 17-inch wheel. That's the biggest downfall, but I could ride this up staircases. I mean, I could do everything with this setup here. And I, most of you will spend more, most, more time on the street. And for those of you that are spending a lot of time off-road, uh, then I can understand the case for getting a dual sport if you spend probably 90% of your time off-road. Um, and it also depends on what you're doing off-road. If you're just doing like I'm doing and riding these little easy trails, you know, in the woods or something, where you're not really going over much, you could do that on this, man. You don't need no dual sports setup. You don't need knobbies for that. You can do an easy trail on a scrambler, too. That's what I tell you guys is that um, I love all the bikes. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, guys. But if I just have to have one bike, one bike, 
it's the supermoto with the adventure tires on it and you're set i can ride out here and cruise just like i'm on a cruiser and even sitting up higher i got the cat bird seat up here riding out here on the streets it's awesome i love that sitting up higher and uh i don't have to worry about any punctures i do a quick fix with the plug kit you know if i want to get cute i can fly around a corner you can take it even lower than sport bikes um it's bus wheelie on command you know i it, what else could you want in a bike man you know the only thing is i can't tour on this bike but if you get like a ktm 690 smcr or a husk varna 701 supermoto which has a street bike engine in it even though the bike weighs 80 pounds more than this you can you can tour on that bike they even have a big shields on there you can put on the front did it help block wind? You could take that across the country if you want to, man. And Honda makes an adventure pack for the new Honda SCL 500 that essentially turns the bike into an adventure motorcycle. So you can tour on this bike as well. But if you're just doing mostly street out here like I'm doing and crapping around um, and want to have fun riding up staircases and ride, mess around off-road, do a little bit of everything, I'm telling you, take a dirt bike and do a supermoto build like I did. If you're allowed, here in Ohio, we can plate anything. I could do a two-stroke Supermoto here. That's why I love Ohio. Wow, Supermoto versus dual sport. Supermoto all day. If you're going to do do a lot of off-roading and, and a lot of crazy stuff, I then get a dual sport. But you can always do like I did, and you can keep the dirt wheels that come with this, and you can swap up and just put the dirt wheels on here. And I, this bike it actually is also a motocross bike. The, the YZ450 FX version. This is actually the same thing as the Motocross F version, but it has a five speed wide ratio gearbox instead of a close ratio gearbox. And it has a kickstand and a few other minor changes on it. But this thing, if you go look on YouTube, this thing performs just as good as a motocross, the Motocross uh, bikes. So you got a Motocross bike in this, man. I got everything in this, guys. I paid 9,000, I put $1,000 uh, and I bought a brand new $1,000 build on it. So $10,000, I got all the bikes, all the bikes. Motocross, cruiser, sport bike. I got everything all in this bike here, guys. And you know what? I don't have to worry about scratching the fairings and, and having to replace a $500 fairing or something. Um, this, I can drop it on the ground. I don't care. I can get a new set of these cheap dirt bike plastics for like a whole set probably for like 200 bucks or less and i'm not worrying about i could drop it beat up on it i don't care sport bike i care a cruiser i care supermoto and dual sports i don't care they're made to take a beating i'm telling you guys supermoto life all day all day every day baby supermoto life but get all the bikes don't just limit yourself to a supermoto if you because i'm going to tell you you're going to want to experience all the different motorcycles i love them all guys leave a comment below let's talk about it um tell me guys supermoto versus dual sport what do you think is better leave a comment below and just get out there and ride man get on two wheels i don't care what you ride just ride take the msf class get your motorcycle license put on the full gear like i say i got links to all my gear baby this is the best gear you can get it's good but anyways, make sure to hit thumbs up. Helps my channel immensely when you hit thumbs up and you leave a comment. Subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel. Make sure to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of all my new videos. And uh, I appreciate all you guys. Until next time, catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.